Are we, this is Thunderballs 53 by Fabio Nicieza with some art by Twat Zercher. We didn't like him anymore. Uh, this is one of the issues I said I would review in my awful Let's Play videos. Uh, if you're not watching them, well, lucky you. Uh, I have just lost part four. I, I don't know where it's gone. I remember editing it because I had to remove a tiny bit and I remember saving it. But now it's just gone. It's disappeared. But in the Lego game, I'm doing a Thunderballs challenge where I can only play as Thunderballs characters. But there's little bits in the game where you need to be Captain America to use his shield. And I justified it because he spent four issues training and sort of leading the team. This is one of them. I think it might be the last one with him in. It's also a spotlight issue focusing on Charlie Cole. And you're probably different now, Charlie Cole, since Marvel can't use this character anymore. Because, you see, Kurt Busey, he was trying to circumvent creator rights and royalties by introducing a new character who was created by a fan. And even for a comic from 2001, all the white students at his high school are openly racist to his face. Then we have got a flashback with him and Electric Girl training. Uh, Electric Girl, she has had a stroke and all her dialogue is written quite offensively really. But when she's in her electric form, she's fine. Then we've got some more racist white people at American high schools. I like to think that this is probably Twat Zercher since he drew it. He probably made them all white and maybe originally it was meant to be like a diverse group of bullies. Charlie Cole, he transforms into his big rock monster form to deal with all these bigoted comic gatesers at his school. And now we cut to Thunderballs Mountain, which is their base. And there's Captain America right there. Look, there, Captain America. Uh, what happened with the team was that uh, issue 50, we were introduced to a new lineup for the team. It was like a government sponsored team called Project Redeemers. And at the end of 50, they replaced the Thunderballs. And Captain America was brought in to train them. Uh, Electric Girl and Charlie Cole, since they didn't have criminal records like the other Thunderballs, uh, they were drafted into this new team. Uh, also, so was Fista, who was at odds with the Ard Thunderballs. And uh, V-Man, he leads them. And it's Baron Zero again, but they do flirt around a bit. With the idea that it might not actually be him. But then it is. Uh, the other members of the team. They have links to Art Thunderballs as well. We'll see them all in a bit. But here Captain America. He feels bad about seeing Electric Girl. Struggling with her affliction. We get some great Captain America stuff here actually. With him trying to detach himself. From emotional connection to these people. Because... He's trying to convince himself it's just an assignment. But he, he can't help but feel for, like, Electric Girl or Charlie Cole. And then hidden away in Thunderballs Mountain is this character in a life pod. Uh, we've seen him in other comics I've reviewed. And we'll finally find out who he is in the next issue. He's like, he's like the next villain, the team face. Uh, and Charlie Cole is finding it hard to accept and deal with Electric Girl's stroke. Uh, what happened was, uh, she got shot by Manhunter. There's like a little flashback to that there. And she was in a coma and she had a stroke. And Charlie Cole, he's like shutting out all his friends. And then his estranged dad shows up. Uh, his dad is a terrorist who offered his son to the terrorist group so that it could perform experiments on him. Uh, and that's how he got his Charlie Cole powers. Got a subplot here on the moon. And it's all about Count Gravity. He's learning the scope of his powers and his control over gravity. And he's being manipulated a bit by Moonstump. And we've sort of seen where this guns. 
I reviewed the issue where uh, this government Thunderballs team fight Count Gravity. And, well, it's not much of a fight, is it? Uh, we've got another subplot here. Hawkeye, he has been sent to prison, which is ridiculous. But some of the other inmates, the super villains, they start to side with him. And he ends up forming another another short-lived Thunderballs team with a bunch of inmates. Uh, the one we've got here, we've got Mentor. But the main story is about Charlie Cole. And his dad tries to pressure him to come back and work for the terrorists. But Charlie Cole, he tells him to get Ben, which is American for sod off. This leads to Charlie Cole fighting the terrorists. Uh, the Thunderballs, they find out about what's happening and they go to help Charlie Cole. Uh, and this picture here of Fister. I'm sure that was his profile image in the Marvel Andy books. Uh, apparently, I do that now. I point out art that is used in Andy books. Uh, this is a really good showing for Charlie Cole. And I can't help but feel it would be better if the character isn't abruptly killed off in a few issues time. And then never seen again because of the rights issues. Uh, and Charlie Cole he is faced with a classic superhero dilemma where he has to choose whether to save his father at the cost of his arm. I won't reveal which choice he makes. Then the Thunderballs show up with Captain America up front. But Charlie Cole, well, he's already solved the problem. Uh, not really worth going now who all these characters are. They didn't day out in the story. Uh, up back there, that is Armadillo. Uh, get it? Like Armadillo, but it's armour because she's wearing armour. And holding on to her is Shadow Boy. That is Atlas Man's little brother. This one there, that is Meteor Wrong. And in the background there, that is Angor the Screamer. And I'll probably get into all these characters a bit in another video. And we end with Captain America offering his standard words of support and encouragement. To Charlie Cole. This is a really good issue. It it does feel a smidge pointless since Charlie Cole dies in three issues time. But I guess this is this is like his swan song. And it ended by somewhat resolving his story with his father. Also Captain America was in it, so seven thumbs up.